Father, SSA to the President for Special Needs, SSA to the Governor of Works in Ocean State, Representative of the KDC, Yawa of Otai Wadi, Professor Iluwa Ino, Indian Representative, a scholar and former Chairman of NATEL and President of Africa Technical and Vocational Institutions. Chairman of Harry Badi Progressive Union, Mr. Julius Ukundeli, invited guests, pressmen, ladies and gentlemen. I feel honored to be a member of this vibrant and ever productive tenth assembly under the able leadership of Mr. Speaker, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, PhD. The tenth assembly needs the people's house, who is full of lawmakers who are always conscious of the people's needs, who strive to deliver quality solution and, and focused legislation. On behalf of the good people of Bolu Waduru, Ifeda Yandula Federal Constituency, I commend Mr. Speaker for his relentless efforts in making the 10th Assembly a, a true people's representative. Honorable colleagues, please note that the di distinguished posture of the Honorable Speaker is not merely physical. He stands tall in intellect, service attitude, and undiluted commitment to advancing meaningful and quality legislation for the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, House Committee on Federal Colleges of Education, thank you for making today count. I appreciate the courage and sacrifice for the Chairman and the entire members of this committee for organizing this event and ensuring that this bill we are presenting today reach this memorable stage. Members of the public and stakeholders in the education sector, you are humbly welcome to this epoch-making event. I salute your commitment for being part of history. I must say that the direction we are taking in establishing more teacher training institutions is crucial for national development. It is commonly said that no education system can rise above the quality of its teachers. Teachers play essential roles in the advancement of knowledge and intellectual development of the society. At a recently concluded teachers' education conference organized by the Nigerian Ministry of Education, UNESCO emphasized that the importance of well-trained teachers in achieving quality education is very, very necessary. It is worthy to inform this gathering of distinguished personalities that the bill for the establishment of the Federal College of Education Technical of Maribadi or State is very unique. When established, the college will serve dual purpose of producing teachers for vocational and technical education. It will also address the shortage of manpower in the teaching profession and train industry ready graduates who will strengthen the nation's production base. We must recognize that technical and vocational education is crucial for providing jobs for the ever increasing youth population, creating employment for others, elevating poverty, and promoting economic growth in both development and uh, in developing nations. Our bills and the eventual establishment of this educational institution will mark a significant step in our nation's effort to promote the 2020 Global Agenda. We are already contributing to the attainment of Goal 4 of the Sustainable Goal Development Goals, SDG 4. The Sustainable Development Goal 4 focuses on education, quality of education, and the 17 sustainable goals established by the United Nations in September 2015. Its title is Ensure Inclusive and Equitable Quality Education and Promoting Lifelong Learning Opportunities for All. It encompasses 10 targets measured by 11 indicators, including the free primary and secondary education, equal access to quality pre primary education, affordable technical, vocational, and higher education and increased numbers of people with relevant skills for financial sources, among others. Honorable colleagues, the aforementioned targets of SDG4 cannot be achieved without strengthening the foundation of teacher production. Our guardian today addresses the gap in the student-teacher ratio in, in the nation. The availability of teacher training institutions will motivate young secondary school graduates to pursue careers in teaching. Remember, our schools, both private and public, cannot thrive without teachers. Once again, Mr. Chairman, I thank you for making this possible today. 
members of the House Committee on Federal College of Education, your common zeal and dedication are deeply appreciated. The people of Boluadro, the Federal and La Federal constituency, will forever be grateful for the leaders and esteemed members of this people's house. Thanks for your approval. God bless you all. On behalf of the President, Otaye Bajo Progressive Union, Hawaii in Council, sons and daughters of Otaye Bajo, as a community, speak that we are in support of the bill that converts for the establishment of Federal College of Education Technica Otaye Bajo in order to additional and partly because it is expensive and uh, I think addressing it now will go a long way to alleviate poverty, remove, bring people out of uh, poverty as much as possible. Well, just to add to what he has just said, in my presentation on the floor of the house, please let that woman see. Let me, let me look at that woman. Photographer, please. Madam from the Ministry of Education, in my presentation on the floor of the house, I told our people that I was in Toronto 2001. I was in Canada 2001. My friends, all of them were graduates, professors, doctors, lawyers, and all that. And this guy came. He graduated from technical college and is a mechanic. We were on $15 per hour. Before you know it, within three or four months, this guy has various houses as a mechanic. He bought cars and we were still on $15 per hour. Vocational training, not just college of education. College of education is important. This one is even College of Education Technical. We have vocational and skill will be studied. Yes. When, you have, when you have various of them like that graduating from the school, they will contribute to the economic growth of this nation. Yes. They are even more important than some courses in the universities today. Yes. College of Education Technical is important. Forget about the fun aspect of it, we will look into it. I will get in touch with the executive. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. The issues are no issues at all. Someone said, could there be need for the establishment of technical education in Nigeria? I've just told them that technical education is even more important than most of the degrees they do in the universities. Why? It is a vocational training where hand works are learned. In today's economy, and works is more respected than any other thing entirely. Mechanics, they don't have to rely on anybody to make their days. Uh, painters, hairdressers, um, plumbers and all that. That is where they land them. Go, go to, to all the parts of the world, or any part of the world today, they are more respected than even professors and doctors, more than lawyers. I had a first class in the university. I'm telling you this. I was, I was in Toronto, I was handing some Petty money, some dollars per hour. This mechanics hand more than I do, and they, they finish from the technical uh, schools. So don't mind whoever is derogating the technical education is ma is far far more recognized than any other kind of education, but even with you know, outside the shores of Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes, it's not like that. We respect paper qualification than uh, hand skills. How do you think the orientation can be carried out so that this ask, can ask be so many of the people that are standing here. Some are looking for employment. A bricklayer will not look for employment. A mechanic will not look for employment. A plumber will not look for employment. As a matter of fact, they hired workers too. They may tell you to come and work under them. So what are you talking about? If you, if you go if you go for a paper thing, that's your own problem. But if you go for vocational training, you don't have to depend on anybody to get to get employed. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.